Hi everyone and welcome back to my series on how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In this episode, we'll create a simple hurt state and make sure our player is immune to any attacks while in this state. And now let's get started. At the moment, our player can be hit again and again, even when it's already hurting. This can be really frustrating to players because it can be hard to get away and take a break and figure out what went wrong and how to proceed. So let's make our player immune when it is hurting. To do this, we go to our player script and use a boolean to make a simple hurt state. I create a variable called isHurt at the top of the script and initialize it to false. Down in the unheard box area insert, we then add an if in the beginning that checks if the player is hurt and returns if this is the case. This will skip the rest of the code in the function if is hurt is set to true. Next, we have to make sure that the is hurt variable is set to true when the player is hurt. We can do this right after we emit the health changed signal. Okay, let's test and see what happens. We can definitely only be hurt once now, but the immunity never really goes away. This is because we never set the is hurt variable back to false again. So let's go back to our script and set is hurt to false just after resetting the effects animation. Now when we test again, we are only immune as long as the player is blinking. This is then now the duration of our hurt state. If you want the hurt state to last longer or a shorter amount of time, then you can go to the hurt timer node in the player scene and change the wait time to whatever you like. There's one thing that's bugging me now. Sometimes when we leave the hurt state, the player isn't hurt again at once, even if it's colliding with the slime. At the moment, we only handle collisions right when the enemy's hitbox enters the player's hurtbox. But this doesn't work well with our hurt state because the player's immunity can end while an enemy's hitbox is already in the player's hurtbox. And currently, this won't be registered as a collision. So we need to change how we register collisions. First, we'll make an array called enemy collisions. And in the unheard box area insert function, we then add the colliding area to our new array if the area's name is hitbox. And let's also remove the is hurt check here. We also go to the player's hurt box node and connect the area exited signal to our player script and then erase the area from our new array here. Now we have an array that will always hold the areas the player is colliding with at any given time. Instead of handling a collision in the unheard box area entered function, we now create a new function called hurt by enemy and move all the code that handles what happens when the player is being hurt. Remember to make sure that everything is indented correctly.
Finally, at the end of the physics process function, we check if the player is not hurt. And if this is the case, we call our new hurt by enemy function for each enemy area in the enemy collisions array. And now when we test again, everything should work as expected. And that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes. Bye!